amount of stuff you can get away with if you're attractive is literally so insane. And everyone talks about women pretty privileged, but no one ever talks about guy pretty privileged. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. Well, yeah, that's only because about 1% of men get a chance to even experience what that feels like. You stupid. You must unlearn what you have learned. What's going on YouTube? Is your boy Ron back with another video? If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So I got a video for you guys from one of your favorite tiktokers and apparently youtubers i did not realize he had such a large following on youtube so i will link the original video in the description for you guys and and if you want to please subscribe and follow whole math i know a lot of you guys who watch me are also a fan of his content but if you are new um please go over and support him as well um but i actually originally got hip to him on tiktok but i did not know he had a YouTube channel up until I came across this video now pretty privileged for men um I think this is fall this falls right in line with the Chaz and Tyrones of the world wouldn't I, wouldn't wouldn't y'all agree so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it the amount of stuff you can get away with if you're attractive is literally so insane and everyone talks about women pretty privileged but no one ever talks about guy pretty privileged I always appreciate it when women understand the different ways that they treat different types of men. Guy, pretty privilege, is another word for hypergamy. So, for whoa, hold on one second. First of all, damn, dude, I never even thought about that. Think about that, y'all. That man said, "Pretty male privilege is just another word for hypergamy." Might be on to something there, brother. You might be on to something, man. Let me know what y'all thought about that. I practice hypergamy. Well, of course I had to play the hit the, the hypergamy clip. Let's keep it moving. First of all, I'd like to thank her for noticing. And second of all, I have a few stories for you to try to encourage you to maybe move up a few notches if possible. But first, listen to how she understands. It's therapeutic. I think if the unattractive guys tried to do the things that attractive guys did to girls, they would be called out for harassment. Yeah, exactly. This girl. Um, I think I did a video on that one time where pretty much if the girl is attractive she could to you, you could pretty much do anything you want and it won't be seen as creepy. But if it's unattractive, oh, he's creepy. Without a doubt um matter of fact weren't y'all just lusting over wade wilson and this man unalive multiple women so that right there just goes to show you oh we golly i ain't even i and i literally just thought of that just now that wade wilson situation Ooh, i mean you talk about exposing the dark side of female nature man just just like this here let's keep it moving Girl from an old video said don't cat call me unless you're attractive and then she said it was a joke which means it's kind of true but if an attractive guy did what unattractive guys did it would be considered cute this is where my stories come in i did some uh not very cute things that went over just fine i feel like attractive guys have kind of like a act like an card that they could use whenever they want because they have a pretty face and they have unlimited ways on how to hit on women without being a creep yeah you can say quite a wide range of things and it will be okay but only as long as she feels like this about you uh, and i gotta admit that because i've noticed when they when it's come to women that were into me more than i was into them I could pretty much do anything I want, damn near talk to them any way that I want. And it seemed like it was just no issue. But anytime that dynamic felt or looked like it was the other way around, it, it never worked out that way. It's like, if there's one thing I've noticed, bro, it's like, if you're dealing with, a, if you're dealing with an attractive woman, you better have other attractive women on deck. Otherwise, she's not... 
because if you're dealing with an attractive woman and she think you don't have other attractive women waiting or other in line and you quick to walk with away from her you won't put up with her shit oh yeah trust me man she's definitely gonna use that against you man but typically when the woman liked me more than i liked her yeah i can pretty much do whatever do whatever or say whatever i want and she was gonna stick around and she was gonna put up with it but once again bro this is bro it's like it's like red pill rage all over again <laughs> this is a drawing of me when i was at my most attractive and a relationship that i had during that time where i did nothing and she did more than she should have this is a timeline of that relationship i had a crush on this girl when i was 11 and she pretty much ignored me until after college when i lost weight and got in shape and she sent me a suggestive message on Facebook where she saw my pictures and we began a, a certain kind of relationship. And eventually she let me know that she had been cheating on a different guy with me. And I said, well, that's a bad idea. You should probably either have a boyfriend or have fun and you should pick one. And so she did. She got rid of him and said, now we can be together. And I said, well, that's not part of the deal. This is this guy is just going to be me later. And she said, oh, darn, uh, and continued seeing me anyway. And also I had no money and she had money. So she paid for everything while I continued to see other girls on the side. That's how much difference this can make. If you can uh, cross this line, you're you're going to experience quite a big power differential. Unattractive guys have to be more slow about it. They have to be more nonchalant and sneaky about hitting on a girl. Sneaky. Okay. We used to call that getting to know someone. When you're familiar with somebody, it becomes easier to create that bond. And maybe you as an individual can work your way out of it, but you can't have everyone works their way out of it. Because if they did and everybody became more attractive, women would just reevaluate this into another one of these. There would be 80% of the guys who made it would be reevaluated into the didn't make it zone. And those guys have no choice. They have to get familiar with women first. Otherwise, they just get completely left out. And that's why the world is looking more and more like this. People don't get to know each other anymore. And if you try, women will call it sneaky. That's the one thing she said that I didn't like. They also I do find that a bit weird. Like, hold on, explain to me. Yeah, explain, because I would like to know what her idea of what sneaky is, because something tells me what her idea of sneaky is, exactly what he said. Now, if your idea of sneaky is, okay, I'm going to go behind your back and... Well, or I'm going to go behind these guys back and say all these bad things about them towards you because I know you're into these guys or those kind of guys because I want you to take attention off of those guys and on me like you know putting down another man to try to make yourself look like the better option if you're talking about that kind of sneaky then okay then I can get behind that and I can understand that but literally just trying to get to know you and like not trying to like rush things or not trying to come off creepy because I know I'm not that super duper Chad type because I know I don't have the pretty privilege to sit over here and call that sneaky brother. Come on, man. That, that's a little bit delusional. That's a little bit much. But let's continue can't be arrogant and rude where a lot of attractive guys get away with being rude that's me i used to be rude i was so bitter after i found out the difference between how people treat you when you move from here to here that i actually made a game out of what is the rudest thing that i can say to someone who i know already likes me before she uh, doesn't like me anymore and I never found it. I wrote a few of them down, but I don't feel safe showing you. I played other games too. I once met a girl on the computer. I went to her place three times without ever telling her my name. And then on my way out the door the third time, I said, are you gonna ever ask me my name or what? And she said, I didn't want to offend you. Like I was gonna say, whoa, you're moving a little fast, aren't we? No, I'm not encouraging any of this behavior. This is degenerate. The only reason I did it is because I was bitter, because I couldn't be liked without being likable. 
I didn't want to put in the work to get out of this area. And when I finally did, I still felt like this on the inside. You want to know why? Because you felt like people liked you for for your improvements instead of for just who you are as a person, just for who you are up here, just for who you are in here. That's what that that's what very interesting about these conversations and these dynamics between men and women because one of the things that I think women tend to overlook about men is that men is as much as we might come off like we're cold and things of that nature, we're still human at the end of the day. And you can't sit over here and say that men aren't so because a lot of men one of the main reasons why a lot of men are checking out is because men are starting to finally understand that women don't really love men unconditionally and y'all really only love men for what they can do for you and provide for you not who they are as a person meanwhile men fuck with women for who they are and their character like dead ass don't get me wrong like what you do for us okay cool but realistically outside of sex everything that you everything anything else that you can do for us outside of sex we can do for ourselves so anything outside of sex is kind of kind of an added bonus and i know that kind of sounds fucked up to say out loud but when you really think about it where am i lying at especially in today's society you know what i'm saying so there's just something to think about. Let's keep it moving. And I said, oh, now it's my turn to do this to someone else. And that's not what we need more of. That kind of stuff just goes back into the dating pool and makes everybody more miserable and harder to deal with. Now, the difference between an attractive guy and an attractive girl is like so different. An attractive girl, sometimes like they don't get guys. They get rejected because people get jealous of them or they're really intimidated or they're jealous. And it's just really hard to be an attractive girl. But for an attractive guy, literally, it's like living on the red carpet with silver platters of opportunities handed to you constantly. Well, not job opportunities. This was roughly my attractive era from here to here. And this was my net worth. And then I had nothing. And now I have internet money. But yeah, she's not wrong. This is an easier position in the market than this. It's easier to get what you want. Now, I wish we could get away from this app style of dating and back to the classics, but I don't know how we're going to do that. This might even get worse. At least people are starting to get it. But for now, if you are not working on yourself, you are potentially giving up a lot of power. Just don't misuse it when you get it or you'll eventually turn into me, but without the internet money. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is one of the reasons why I made a video recently on my travel vlog channel. Uh, Y'all should probably check it out. I was kind of surprised to see the amount of the views that it, get, that it, that it got. But, um, you know, it kind of goes over, you know, um, finally reaching your financial stride, which is, you know, kind of like what whole man press reference in this video. And, you know, it definitely makes you look at the dating market a lot different. It's almost like, you know, I was having this conversation with um, Life with Rilla. Shout out to Rilla. Um, you know, it's kind of like experiencing Red Pill Rage all over again. Because, you know, because once you hit that financial stride, now you got to go into the dating market realizing that women are... You know, no matter how much you try to present yourself like you're you're somebody that doesn't have it, um, nine times out of ten, you know, women are gonna do their homework. They're gonna look for the social proof. They're gonna be able to tell one way or another. So, um, you know, again, one of those things you got to be mindful of because I know guys are working on themselves, trying to lose weight, working on their fitness. Guys are over here starting businesses working going to school and starting businesses like you know guys that are watching me they got a lot of stuff going on and working on themselves and they're putting in the work for sure so just be aware that you know once you do start to see yourself level it up man it's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks because it definitely been weighing on me for the last few months and that's why i did a video on it so you should definitely go to my travel vlog channel and check that out man and let me know what y'all thought about this as well if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. 
make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description until the next video y'all deuces Thank you.